Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first time showing my face on my videos. I'm a little bit nervous, but I've been wanting to branch out a little bit more and kind of open up. So hopefully um, this helps you guys connect a face behind the voice, behind the nails. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did these really pretty blinged out acrylic nails. I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. I'll be using Mia Secrets Cover Almond and my Model 1's number six Kalinsky brush. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you like nail videos, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now on my pointer finger, I'm going to be doing a French design, so I'm just laying the acrylic and letting it set a bit. Now with a French tip cutter, I'm going to use this to create our smile line. Onto our middle nail, I'm going to be blending it down slightly to create an ombre, same thing we did on the thumb. I was inspired by this photo here, I found this on Pinterest and I couldn't find the original artist so if you know who they are, let me know in the comments that I can credit them in my description. Now onto the pinky, I'm going to do the same thing, just blending that cover color down a bit. Now I'm taking this purple glitter acrylic from Savalan and I'm starting to create a glitter ombre on the thumb. This Savalan acrylic is so stunning. I got it in one of their kits so I'll try to link it down below. On the ring finger I'm doing the whole nail in the glitter acrylic. Also yes I am new to working with acrylic and I know my application definitely needs some work. It's not the best but we'll fix it later with filing. Now onto the pinky nail, I'm doing another glitter ombre like we did on the thumb. And now onto our pointer nail, I'm filing that smile line to achieve the best possible result. And with this light purple Savaland acrylic, I'm going to lay this on top. Now on our middle nail, I'll be doing an ombre with that color. And now I'm clear capping all the nails. This will help prevent us from filing into the glitter and it'll also add some strength. Finally, on to filing and shaping. Here we can fix how bad the application was. Once we're all filed and shaped, I'm taking McCart's rhinestone gel and putting that on almost all the nails. Now I'm applying top coat on all the nails. Top coating this glitter nail was so satisfying. And I'm just gonna start placing our rhinestones. I love the look of blinged out nails. I think they're so stunning, but I just sometimes don't have the patience to deal with rhinestones. <laughs> Also, on the pointer nail, you really can't tell it's a French design. It kind of just looks like another ombre nail, which is fine, but it is a little disappointing. Now with some white 3D carving gel, I'm scooping some out, rolling it into a ball, and I'm going to be making 3D flowers. I use this silicone sculpting tool to help mold the shape. 3D carving gel makes doing any 3D work so much easier. Definitely, definitely pick this up if you're struggling with 3D flowers. It's a total game changer. You can literally see how easy it is for me to do this. And I cure in between petals so that nothing moves when I'm working.
Once we have all of our 3D work done, I'm going to add in a few more rhinestones in the center of each flower. So here's how the nails came out. I kind of did my makeup to match them a little bit. And seriously, like, look how these came out. They came out so freaking pretty. I love them. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.